Are you ready to play Luvium Stage 1? That's what I'm gonna tell you on this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Illuvio, a new free-to-play, play-to-earn game on the Immutable X. Now, if you're like me and you want to be sure that you're ready to go to stage one, this video is for you. I'm going to let you know everything you need to be profitable when you're going to play on stage one. I'm going to tell you how you can get there completely free. And if you are in a hurry and I want to get there, I'm going to tell you how much you need to invest it in and what you need to invest it to play on the stage one. So let's go and jump into the game. Okay, so when you start the game, you're gonna be here in Santa Mesa. And here is where you have your crafting, your fusion, and where you do everything you need to do when you're not actually playing the game. So here, I'm gonna show you what we actually need before we jump into the game. So if I press I, it's gonna show my inventory. And I think my inventory at the moment is all that you needed to get playing the game on stage one. And everything I'm gonna show here is from stage zero. You can get all this on stage zero completely free. And the best part is that as you're building this equipment from stage zero, you're gonna get acquainted to the game. You're gonna understand the mechanics. You're gonna understand the place. You're gonna get a layout of the map. So that it will be very good for you as well because it's gonna help you when you get to stage one. So let's see what I have here, and I think this is the minimum you should do before I go to stage one. So you should have your helmet, your jackpack, and your boots all upgraded to the supreme tier. So you're gonna upgrade all three to the supreme, and that should help you to see more of the deposits, also to fly farther and to jump higher. So there is no reason for you to jump to stage one before you craft this. Now you can get all the materials you need on the stage zero, or you can buy on the market very cheaply. You can buy for a few cents each of the ingot you need to build, and then you can go ahead and build it. Now I'm gonna show you how many you need it, and we're gonna see how much, how you can do it. Now, you also should equip your character with a weapon. I'm seeing here the character, not actually the team, because you can have weapons on the team, but you need this weapon here on your character. You can see here, there on the bottle, it says overward ability. This will increase in a hundred your instability damage and it's gonna last for five seconds. So this will help you to capture your Illuvium a lot easier. Now you also need to select a drone. I try out the different drones. I really like the one. Uh, it's very helpful as you press F, it goes and do some damage on the Illuvium. Sometimes they are running away, you just press F and they end up killing them. Uh, for this weapon, you need to press G, and when you press G, it activated for five seconds. Now, you also should have a lot of these consumables. Now, there is no reason for you or stage zero to collect all the plants. Or stage one, maybe you wanna be more selective about the plants you want to harvest, but on stage zero, go ahead and harvest everything that you see because it's free to play, so I jump, I harvest as fast as I can, I jump again, I harvest as fast as I can. So there is no reason for you to be selecting what to harvest and what not to harvest on stage one. Go ahead and grab everything and you should have a few of those when you start your stage one runs. What I would recommend you to have is enough of this gumbo drop here. This will increase the attack damage by 15 and attack speed by 10. So that's very important for you to have. And also the fiend cap here, this will gain 25% extra XP. So when you're battling other Illuvials, you can get more XP. Now it's very important for you to make battles on stage one, because that will give you all that experience that you needed. What I would do is when I go to stage one, this is the Illuvials I would take. So you can see here, I took a Doko and a Groko for each of the different affinities. So I have a pair of air, one of earth, one here of water, and one here of nature. So the reason for that is we don't know what Illuvians we're gonna find there, and you don't wanna miss any good Illuvians. So by having a pair here, I can have two Illuvians to fight, and I also have the weapons here. So you can see I have this sword here, for earth, I have one for air, and I have one for water. 
So for example, if I get iluvial that is from fire, I can go ahead and use my earth iluvials here that they have again against the fire. And then I can use my sword. Now, because I have two iluvials and one sword out from earth, I'm going to add affinity bonus as well. So this is the idea to be able to get three levels of the same element to get the bonus. Now, if I need more levels here, I could use the water ones that has also extra points against fire. So the air has two points and the water has one extra point. And then by having three of the same, I would actually get some extra bonuses as well. Now that's my other recommendation. If you want to increase the experience of your Illuvial on level one, that's what I would have. I would have uh, the, all the weapons that you can have of the different elements. I would have two Illuvials, one Doka and one Groko for the different elements. That will be enough for you to go ahead and start looking into stage one. Now, how are you going to get to stage one? So one thing you can do is, like I said, jump to stage zero, harvest everything you can, put aside the amount you needed to do your stage one run, and then sell all the rest on the market. You're going to need few to play on stage one. So you're going to need 150 cryptons. So you can see here, I have 150 exactly, and you're going to need this to run on stage one. So that's going to cost you about a dollar and 20 cents at the moment so what you need to do is to harvest and sell everything you can until you get that amount now if you prefer you can go ahead and just invest a little bit of money into the game and then you're going to be able to buy the fuel and do the run now i would be doing this equipment enracement and capture these illuvials by yourself because you're going to get the experience you need to go ahead and play in the game now, other thing we need to do is to get the resource to go and run in level one. And the reason for that is if we look here on my resources, this cured shard fragment is the only one you're going to be finding on stage zero. So you can only get this on stage zero. However, they don't work in levels on stage one. You cannot capture any level using this. So before you go into a run, you need to buy cured shard or you need to buy the common shard and cure it to be able to use it. Now, I would recommend you to have few rarities here because you don't know what you're going to find there. So if you have a common, an uncommon and a rare at least, if you find a very good deliver, you can be sure it's not going to escape. Now, if you should buy a current or a common shard, it will depend on the value of the market. And let me go ahead and jump into the crafting table so I can show you how you can decide it, which one it works best for you. So if you come here to the teleport, we got to go to our crafting table there. And here we can see the actually what we needed. So if we go to shards, the shard fragment, you can craft with the fragment to find a stage zero that's not going to cost you anything you can capture as many illuvials as you want on stage zero and then the cured shard is the one that you're going to need it so you can see here you're going to need the common shard and you're also going to need here hyperion so you're going to need to buy some hyperion on the market as well if you want to go ahead and craft it so by the time you buy look at the market if it's cheaper to buy the shard plus the Viperion, or if it's cheaper to buy the current shard. Now, like I said, you probably should have at least one common, one uncommon, and one rare, just in case you find that very rare illuvial and want to capture. Now, be very careful here with the shard dust here. As soon as you have the shards, you can destruct into dust to create a different shard. Be careful because that's not something you probably want to do at this stage. Now, other equipment I would recommend you to have is a suit. So you can set one of the suits here. Stage one is fine. Uh, you don't need one in your character. That's not going to help too much with the game. But you want to have one on your team that you can use on the fight. So have a look on the three different types. See which one fits your style better. 
and then just craft it here. I think just the tier 0 stage 1 is enough for tier 1. Now the ingots is the one that you're going to be able to get on the market to create your equipment. So you can see here you need osmium, you can get on level 0 and you can craft on this Neodar ingot here and you're going to need to craft your equipment. Now, you cannot buy this Ozion direct from the market, but you can buy this ingot and it costs only a few cents. I bought a few for two cents, I believe. I don't know, I think it was the Rodion one. Just to upgrade my equipment faster, I think it was missing two for my Supreme and I couldn't be bothered playing anymore. I just want to go fast, so I go. I went there and bought two because it was just two cents each, I believe. Now. When you ha you start with your basic jetpack and megwood and visor, then you have to advance to the advanced jetpack, and this will take a basic one, and then will take some essence, some rhodium, and some neodar ingots, and then once you do the advanced, you can go ahead and go to the supreme. Will consume your advanced one, and will take that as well. So there is no much secret in the way to harvest here. Now, I believe that's how that you need to do to get ready to stage one. Now, on my next video, I'm going to show you how to be sure you're going to be profitable running on stage one. I'm going to show you what you're looking for, how you get it, and how you sell it later. But that's for another video. I'll see you there.